Welcome to Halton's Fix It 101. Today we're going to be talking about this. This is the DCS331 cordless jigsaw from DeWalt. I'll see you after the intro. Welcome back. Now you have to excuse the noise because I've got some noisy birds outside. It's making a bit of a bit of a racket. But uh, anyway, we'll carry on talking about this. This is the DCS331 jigsaw from DeWalt. Now DeWalt make the cordless for a corded version of this, but this is the cordless version. And uh, they had a bit of a um, reputation of being the steam train of um, cordless jigsaws or jigsaws in, 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 uh, in the way they are um, because of the front of these jigsaws and I get capture it on the um, top camera up there that they have this ring on the front here which obviously is for the putting insert in your uh, your your uh, saw blades but uh, it has this reputation of looking the front uh, like the front of a steam train so but it has, it's packed with a few little features and everything else that I quite like, to be honest with you. Um, it's, uh, obviously, the blade change is, uh, is one-handed there, and you just insert. I've got a blade here. I'll do it for you. Um, and we'll insert a blade. You can see it on the top camera up there. You put, it, you put it in there like that. Let that go, and it's all completely secure. Now you can see that on the on the top screen on the top screen, and uh, in that that's a good feature for a start. It has a variable puffer um, feature on the side here that you can turn down or turn off, and uh, you can see that of course. And uh, it has, it's packed with another little feature on the side here. It has the pendulum um, action on the blade. That means the blade. When it goes, it goes sort of like that to go and do its cutting. So I like that feature, um, especially in a um, cordless version of, uh, of a um, jigsaw. Um, it obviously has four modes. It has the off mode and uh, it has one, two and three. So uh, the, more, the more it wants to pen pendulum. And it also has a... Uh, a lever on the back here you can see it on the top cam on the top camera up there you move the lever over like that and it allows this to articulate it so you'll be able to articulate the the thing over to to whatever angle you want to that's if you're doing angles of course and it will go both ways on that on that pendulum action but which which I found is a very very good little feature to have but apart from you know the obvious thing in the room, that it's uh, it's cordless. You'd be able to take it anywhere. You're not constrained to having it on you know hooked up to a, a power socket at the wall. And uh, I've I've used it a couple of times. It, it, this one particular one is actually my son's. Uh, he wanted one and he'd gone out and gone himself a decent one. It came at the right price. It was on a deal at the time, so he went and got it it has all this lovely over molding on the top so it's nice easy on your hands um, but again with the sander um, that you saw on a previous video that, I, that, I, that he bought as well it has the obvious thing that if you that it depends on how big a battery you actually put on the back because the bigger a battery the more it's going to want to go and do this and I've got a couple of batteries here Obviously, this small one on the back here is not going to make much difference to the actual weight of the of the back of the machine. But again, it comes into runtime. Uh, your runtime is actually reduced by having such a small battery. And this one being a two amp hour battery, I'm not expecting to get a loss out of it. 
Again, you can go back down to um, something like this 4 amp power battery. You put that on the back. Your, your, your trade-off is obviously you'll get a longer run time, but you'll get a heavier battery on the back. And it also makes the tool that much more um, weighty in your hands when you're using it. Again, you can. I, I've got one of these big 9 amp power batteries here. And if I was to put that on the back there, again, it, the weight of the machine and everything else, and it, it's starting now to get to the stage where it, it's, it's unbalanced. You're not, you've got to push down on the front all the time, which you should do anyway, but you've got to push extra down on the front because you've got the weight of this battery hanging on the back, but you get the longest run time. So the tr it, there is a trade-off all the time of having the battery where it is and most tools of today they're, they're all the, they're all mostly the same of having you know that sort of feature where their battery is actually on the back they don't actually put the battery anywhere else there are very very few tools now that have the battery stored somewhere else on the machine that balances the machine depending on what battery you have so but as for that this very, very good little machine um, is not cordless. It is, it is, you know, brushed and, uh, sorry, cordless. It's not brushless. It's, it's got brushes. I'll correct myself there. I do apologize. Um, but there is a couple of little features of it. It has variable speed on the, on the trigger. And that's, that's a good feature because sometimes there are materials that you want to have a slow um, a, a going through it quite slowly and this one is no exception is very much like my my corded Bosch that I have um, that it goes up and down like a sewing machine it is very very slow and precise when it go in, it, that when it's trying to cut through the material that you want to cut this one's no exception it will do exactly the same um, but it will also, it is variable speed on the trigger, so if you just want that little bit of extra power or a bit more oomph, as I would call it, it, you just pull the trigger a little bit more and off you go. But it's good for when you're getting started on, on, on a, if you're getting started on the edge of a piece of wood, it's, it's brilliant for that because you can have it just going just nicely till it gets, till it bites in and, and then it's off you go. A lot of um, cheap, um, jigsaws they do there are they've got two settings and that's on or off and i'm afraid that i i'm not really a fan of anything like that but um this one's very very good and it also has a, a switch on here which you can see on the top of our camera up there that um this switch here and that will allow you to twitch that off like that so you cannot pull the trigger so there is a safety feature on that. Say if like if you've got some kids around or something like that while you're trying to use your tools, and uh, you know I've 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 had them in the past. My mine are grown up now, but um, I've had them in the past where they have a little bit of mischief coming around and picking up your tools and everything else. But you can actually switch that off so they can't fiddle with it and go and hurt themselves. So it's it's a good it's a very very good little tool. Um, he got it a very good, very good um, deal at the time. They was doing a deal on it, a local, local tool place, and uh, he's pleased with it. And uh, I've I've used it a few times just for quickness, save getting the corded one out that I've got, and uh, it is brilliant. But you've got to wait, you've got to watch the, that weight on the back, and uh, because it, it, you know, when you're using it, it can interfere with you actually turning the machine to whatever you want, but. There we go, the DCS331. Now, what can I say more about it? It's a brilliant little machine. So there we go. There's the uh, DCS331 cordless uh, jigsaw from DeWalt. Now, this is a very, very good uh, little jigsaw. I've used it a few times now just for quickness. As I said, it saves me having to get my corded one out. And uh, it's been a marvellous little machine. But again, you have to be careful about what size battery you actually stick on the back. Because if a lot of weight hanging on the back, 
it becomes quite heavy in your hand to use. But uh, it's a good little machine and I, I invite anyone to go along to their local tool store or anything like that and pick up the, the, these, uh, these tools and weight them in your hands to see how they actually feel because that is the best way of actually uh, you know looking to see whether it's suitable for what you want everyone's different you know this this suits my son and i've used it a few times and it, it, it suited me as well but it doesn't suit everyone so there, there we go well anyway if uh, you want to contact me on the usual social media channels there they are coming over there and uh, if you like this video, please click that like button and uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you again on another one. I'll see you again sometime. Bye bye.